Hello, Beauty News family! Welcome back to a non-drunk and rambly yeah. uh, Beauty News updates. So, the last Beauty News that went up was March Part 5. This yeah. is technically the updates to that, but it's April. Yeah. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know. I think we just call it April Updates 1. Sure. Or do we go... I don't even know. We've got to figure that out. Yeah. We don't know yet. Something's going to have to change. Something's going to happen. Yeah. Um, okay, so in our la in beauty news, there's a few things that we definitely want to update. The biggest one being the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. The yes. The kit that has been shown. It's coming out this week. Mm-hmm. And uh, when we were editing, uh, when I was editing that video, which was only on like Wednesday or something, we did not have swatches. We now right. have swatches, so now we can see what all the shades are, what they look like, um, and what do we think? Um, look, I kind of love it. Yeah. But I also feel like it's a bit late. Like, I've got too many highlighters. I agree. And I can't justify buying more. One thing I have to say, there's a photo on the screen now where it's got swatches on a deep skin, swatches on a lighter skin, and yep. then it's got the palette and the outer packaging. Yep. The outer packaging represents the shades really well. It does. I really like that. I don't know if it's going to look like that in person or if they yep. just manipulated the colors a little bit. But I love the shades. This is what I was missing from the first one. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you saw our reviews on the first one, but essentially it was something along the lines of there are too many blue based shades and there are too many shades that look the same yeah because there was it was all like there was a green that was beautiful there was a pink that was a beautiful then there was blue 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 mm -hmm. and i i didn't i don't like that i just found that a bit too much it's very same same yes whereas this one's got a nice variety you have like a what looks like a nudie, like a light peach. Yeah. You've got like a silver, a gorgeous purple that's got like a kind of iridescent kind of glow to it. Um, you've got, in the pan it looks like a light green, but on the skin it looks more like a light yellow. yellow and really pretty aqua colour. I don't know how you'd wear that, but it's yep. pretty. And then uh, a really beautiful peach colour. So yep. I think some of these things are really, really great. Um we will probably buy it in the future if I was ever playing pa paying. If I was ever ordering something from Anastasia Beverly Hills and paying shipping, regardless, I'll yeah, probably I'd order probably this. Yeah, I'd probably order it, but I wouldn't place an order just for it. No, I yeah, I, like it's really pretty, but it's coloured highlighters, and I'm sort of moving away from highlighters, and not not like I'm sick of highlighting, but more. I have so many. Yeah. How many more can I buy realistically? And I would prefer to have more money in my bank account and less so highlighters. I. So yeah. the next item we have is yeah. the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. Yeah. So we we know what it looks like. We have full swatches. Um, fifteen eyeshadows, six highlighters. We predicted it. We did. Go we picked us. it. Um, and you've essentially got a plummy row. A nude row and, and like then, a warm row. Yes. So I like it. I, I I like it. I don't need it. Yeah, that's fair enough. And that's kind of where I struggle with it because I look at these shades and I go, I pretty much got all of this. Yeah. But I still want to buy it. And if you do have the original Carly Bible palette, you'll see on the screen now the ones that are marked with that little symbol. Yeah. Are they the new shades? They're all new shades. Yeah. Yeah. So you will see there's a lot of overlap. Yeah. You do not need this and if you've got the that one. one. Unless yeah. you hit pan and you love it, Yeah. this is like the fully loaded version, but you yes. do not need it. There'll be a lot of overlap. Yeah. Personally, I'm going to say I do like that it covers a bit of warm, a bit of color, a bit of, you know, cooler tones, you know, neutrals with the eyeshadows. I really like that. I think that's smart. When it comes to the highlighters, this is a miss, like a, it's a mixed bag. Yeah. You will either, see, I was saying to Hayley before, I would wear the two rectangular shades, mm -hmm. like the kind of peachy pink and the gold. When it comes to a white, a silvery pink, a dark gold and a bronze, yeah. I can't, I'd have to wear them as eyeshadows. Yeah. And that's the issue. Like, okay, yeah, you can use them as eyeshadows, but they are fucking huge. Yeah. I know how long it takes to pan an eyeshadow. Yeah. Okay. Trend mood. 
Fuck me dead. Trend mood and Ciate, that palette saga is killing me. I need a drink. Oh, we need 10 drinks to deal with this shit. So the first update is that they were voting on the placement of the pans. I was thinking that they were going to do it pan by pan. Thank God they, they're not doing that. They're giving you four options. They all look crazy, but they're giving you options. Yeah. Then they are voting on the um, kind of fabric bag that it comes in. Do you want dusky, dusty rose or off-white? <gasps> oh, spill the, spill the phone, but not the drink. Way to go, Haley. You are class. Fuck like me. Fuck me. That was close. Yeah. Anyway, I kind of just say to this, um, no one cares about the bag. No one cares about the design of the palette. Oh, it Why is... does it need a bag? I don't know, because I think they're it's... trying to make it out to be like luxurious. You and know, it's... like Tom Ford and stuff comes in little bags. It's Ciate. Calm the fuck down. Yeah. Well, <sighs> it is hideous. Okay, then we have Give Me Glow. We talked about this mm. palette last week. It looks nice. It's a big, giant pan, like, pal a big, giant palette with 12 like large pan eyeshadows they look really pretty we have swatches yes um we were talking about what we started doing as well is on you now um now that we've got an account and we know yep. how to use it sort of and we know what the fuck we're doing yeah um we've decided to like when we can before we film we go, we go through kind of discuss what we're going to be yep. talking about in this episode and be news um with people watching we kind of get their feedback what they think about it um and people were saying this is going to be quite expensive yeah. Was it 56? 50, 52? 54? 54. It was around the 50 US dollar mark plus, plus shipping. shipping. Um, and apparently their individuals are 8 US dollars each, which yeah. is fairly expensive. But they're big. They they're, are they're bigger. They're big pans. Yeah. But, and 8 dollars, that's like, that's like makeup geek. It is, yeah. So it's not that, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, but I think this palette looks gorgeous. We were discussing in the live chat as well. The swatches on the screen, they look like they're either really, 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 really built up or potentially applied wet and then more shadow, dry shadow has been placed on top of it. Yeah. And we were saying that this kind of gives that vibe because if you look at the sides of the swatches, I might do a zoom in so you can see what we're talking about. Um, the sides actually look darker than the actual swatches themselves. So that could either be that the shades build on itself and look quite dark as they build. Yeah. Or they've applied it wet and it's kind of darkened the colour and then they've applied dry, dry over, the, over top. the top. Yeah. Which is a bit, I don't know, I'm not convinced by those swatches. Those are yep. definitely 100%. We can tell you because we've been doing um, swatches for things for five plus years. These are not like one swatch Yeah, these swipes. aren't, these aren't your one everyday swatches. legit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we've also got this uh, little collage of the shades. Mm -hmm. And if you look at makeup of the day, so M-O-T-D down the bottom, yep. that looks like a swamp khaki green. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the shade, it's actually that yellow. Yeah, so once again, it doesn't, instead of it building the intensity of the color, it's actually building to be a darker color when you do apply it darker or potentially wet. Yes. Once again, these could be potentially wet. I want that adorbs color. I want that in a lip color, to be honest. I want that. I want all that in an eyeliner. Face. I want that in a mascara. I love it. Mm. It's mm. beautiful. Oh shit! Did you wear it? Just, just on my yeah, face. Just do. Use your tongue. Use I can't. Tongue. I'm wearing lipstick on my face. Oh shit! I'm that's wearing right. a dark lip. I'll survive. I'll survive. She'll be right. She'll be right. I look folks. a bit bummy today. I'm sorry, guys. I look like a bum. I think we feel a bit bummy today. Yeah, I'm kind of covering up the fact that I got some extra tattooing done today. And it's really swollen. What does it look like, Hayley? A sausage. A sausage. My arm's really swollen up, so I'm kind of just hiding it from the world. So that's why I'm looking like a bum. Mm-hmm. I've also been lying in a tattoo chair for four hours, which is my, why my hair looks bummy. That's ah, um, fine. <laughs> eh. It's yes. not the makeup breakup. People won't criticize us too yes, much. Yes, hey? that's true. Hey? Hey? Okay. On to probably the, besides the Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is probably the biggest news yeah. of the week. And we were kicking ourselves because last week when we did um, mm. the updates, this was coming, these were, this was being announced the day after. Yeah, so when our video was up, 
this was already available, but when we were filming it, it wasn't. So mm. this is the, they did the announcement or the reveal of the Jeffree Star Manny MUA collab. Yep. What do we have? We've got two liquid lipsticks and a skin frost, which we already knew. Yep. The skin frost is called Eclipse. And it looks to be a pale nude peach shade. I be- Yeah, I believe it was described just from memory, which mm-hmm. I don't trust because I'm getting older. I think it was a frosty peach. Okay. So there we go. Um, then we have the two liquid lipsticks. What was which... it? A silvery peach. Whatever. It's a peach base with a silver finish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got the two liquid lipsticks, which are called Daddy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and... I'm Cream. shook. Yeah. So I'm shook is it looks to be a true red. I'd say it's a raspberry red. Raspberry red. I think it's got a bit of like pinkiness to yeah. it. Um and then daddy is des- described to be more of a mid-toned cool nude. Yeah. So I believe that Manny MUA has done plenty of collabs before. This is the first collab that Jeffree Star has ever done, like as in not himself personally but his brand. Yes. Um so Manny MUA has done lip products with like, mm. I don't know, various people, yeah. Morphe, etc, yeah. etc. And they've always been like peachy or warm nudes. So this one has gone more of a cooler brown nude and he thinks it's revolutionary. It's kind of basic. Yeah. But um, this can, you can either buy this in a pack yes. and it becomes, I think it's like the equivalent of like a 20 or 25% discount if yeah. you buy it in the whole pack. Yeah. And it could. These are very basic wearable shades yeah it's like a peachy nude um kind of silvery highlighter which mm-hmm. is probably the most wearable yes of jeffree star's range and mm-hmm. it's got that really nice um joint logo in there so it's got the heart, the heart the star, star and, and the moon, moon mm-hmm. pressed into it which is really cute um and then you know you've got a really kind of vibrant kind of strawberry red and a deep nude so they're very easy to get you can definitely it's not like the Nikki Tutorials collab where you're like, I don't want that shimmery brown and I don't want that. I just want the highlighter. Like, this you can buy in a pack and you can easily use them all. Yeah. But also, you can buy them individually. And there, there is a code. Once again, first time Jeffree Star has ever done a code. Um, and that is to get, I think, 10% or 15% I believe off. so. Yeah, yeah, off the individuals. So yeah. not the pack, but the individuals. So if you didn't want to buy it in a pack and get that discount, you get a slight discount on the individual so yeah that's all been announced and that's the thing we have a new shade from kl polish this one is called saint Clair, and it's a beautiful pale blue color i think it's quite trendy yeah it's like a periwinkle blue yeah periwinkle blue i love it i love it um so if you're a fan of kl polish and you're like chomping at the bit yeah for a shade like that Go for it. But you can only buy it in the US. Yeah, we can't get go. them in Australia. We have another update, which has been a long time coming. Yep. It is the Lime Crime Unicorn Hair hair Dyes. Yep. Um, so they've sneak peeked all of the shades, and apparently there are hair swatches on their website as well. Um, there's two types of colour. So you've got a tint or a full coverage colour, and there are a fuck ton yeah of shades gorgeous um, so deep burgundies yeah you've got a steel blue which looks mm-hmm. like navy i've always wanted navy blue hair beautiful um, candy blue Love jello it. which is a bottle grass glass green bottle yep. glass bottle. green yeah yeah bunny pastel pink you've got so many and they're coming out strawberry jam looks gorgeous i know they're Pe- coming out peach. on the third. gargoyle oh i know isn't it beautiful yeah they're coming out on the third of april yeah and they're not they're not super expensive they're 16 us dollars yep. for Two one h- tub so 200 mil i believe um which is quite good um yeah, if they work it's more than manic panic in volume but less in price correct so, so better value yeah but like this like Dirty Mermaid. They've got some great... Leeloo. Oh, what a good reference. Fifth I actually... Element. I know. I love sexed. Yeah. That, see, the thing is that I think what what they're doing that's really, really smart, mm. there are brands out there like Fudge that literally have all colours of the rainbow, yeah. but they have picked trendy colours. They have. They know what is trendy. You even look at like kind of like the... Yeah, like the Movie, but 
kind of grayish yeah. colors, the steel blues. They're all super trendy colors yeah. and they're things that you can't always get in all brands because most brands can't predict trends. Mm -hmm. They just try to go, let's just have one of each color yeah, to please everyone. Yeah, because we don't know what's going to be popular. Whereas, yeah, whereas what Lime Crime has done is they've got something like three or four purples yeah. um, because they know purples are the way to go mm -hmm. and it's just, yeah, I think they've, they've hit the nail on the head with the shades here. Yeah. Uh, it's just about whether or not they're good at doing what they claim to do. Yeah. We will see, though. We will see. I know there will be reviews of these coming. Correct. People are down for the hair colouring. They are indeed. Um, I'm going to take this one. We've got an update from the NARS and Charlotte Gainsbourg. Gainsbourg. <laughs> Reference to our... The video. Charlotte G collection. Yeah. yeah. CG. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at some... It looks like a eyeshadow duo, yep. black and white. Yep. Uh, three, I'm going to go for lip glosses. Yeah, the gl the photo in the background is really glossy, so yep. I would say that's pretty true. Um, three multiples. I would say these. Do you think it says something tint? Yeah. It's um, it's a secret product. There is a Hydrating photo. something tint. There we go. Do you reckon? It Potentially, yes. So, Gl a hydrating glow tint. Oh, I zoom in too much, it goes too pixelated. But I'm seeing possibly something glow tint, hydrating glow tint, something like that. I reckon you're spot on with the glow thing. Yeah, I don't know about the first one. Highlighting glow tint could be, could be highlighting glow tint. Anyway, there looks like there's going to be a liquid product of some variety that is a, like a glow tint. Yes. Product. It could also be, it could be a base product. Could be. Could be like a BB, an illuminating BB cream type yep. product. Um, and then it looks like there's either multiples or some kind of cream cheek product as yes. well. Cool. Excellent stuff. Excellente. Next one. Too Fret, Too Fraced. Too Fraced. Too Faced Glitter Bomb Palette. Yeah, we did talk about this in the, in the Friday's episode. We did. But in the episode, there's this photo as well. Yes, and we didn't talk about it because no. we didn't know it existed. It came out while I was editing, so mm -hmm. I put it in anyway, but we thought we would discuss it anyway because in the original photo that we had, which we'll put on the screen, it just looked like normal shimmery like eyeshadows. It did. It didn't look glittery at all. Sat 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 satin? Sat yes. Saturn, yes, Saturn. not Saturn. No, like, not the planet. Not the planet, Saturn. Uh, it, co it could have been Saturn, it could have been metallic, we didn't know. These yeah. show that it's definitely glitter. Yeah. Looks like three shades of purple. I know, I know. It's just... Yeah. It still doesn't wow me, but it's no. better than the horrible photos yeah. that we saw originally. I'm eating my words, it does look like glitter now. Yeah. I'm um, kind of worried that these might be, you know those tacky... Oh, Gel-based glitter yeah. products could be, could be, because it looks quite glossy almost, mm. but hopefully not. Yeah, I'm going to try to resist this one. Yeah, um, it's being released on June seventeenth though. Yeah, so there you go. There's another thing from Too Faced, but I find that this is trend mood like incorrectly yeah. linking products. That's just my thought process yeah. on this. I kind of agree with Kat. It doesn't really make sense why they would have compacts with different colours on them and then something that looks yeah. like foundation. So essentially it looks like that they're mixing some form of foundation or some base product. It could be the things that are in the tubes. Mm. We don't know. But um, Trend Mood are linking it to this peach collection that's been sneak peeked a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Now, I don't think that these compacts would be like a compact foundation or a sponge foundation purely because they wouldn't have gone to the effort of creating different colored leaves. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, it's a costly thing to do creating different colored packaging yeah. if you don't need it. Yeah. So I do think that this could potentially be, we had some suggestions on the live chat as being cream blushes. Yeah. I think that's more likely. I would likely. believe that. Um, but I don't think that this is linked and if it is it's other items in the collection that we haven't yet seen yeah um let's go back to melt cosmetics okay they we we didn't 
Last week was supposed to update, but I cut it out because it's way too long. Highlighters. Yes. So there was a sneak peek of highlighter packaging, which was... The filigree. Yeah. It, see, it's funny because they show a filigree palette, but then they show like just basic round compacts. I don't think the filigree... I think that's going to be something else. Yeah, I agree. Um, but but once again, trend mood. Is a trend mood? Yeah. Has linked it with potential highlighters that are coming out. Yeah. Now, whether or not that's correct, I don't know. Yeah. But we have seen individual compacts. Yes. So that's more likely to be the highlighter. And now we're seeing... Um, the like the imprint in the pan yeah. so uh, like imagery for that so i don't think this is linked it doesn't even have filigree no does it say something it says melt and it says oh, yeah, just okay. melt, melt cosmetics. cosmetics in different fonts yeah so there's definitely highlighters coming out from melt whether it's that filigree palette i don't think so no um but that's what people with tinfoil hats are believing yeah i'm looking at you trend mood mm-hmm We've got two more things to talk about. Yeah, This is a little update from Total Makeup Junkie. We know that she's most likely bringing out a lip yep. product, a collaboration. And we have photos of packaging, boxes, standing up. We don't know what this pattern is. So... Yeah, we, we were asking on the live chat if anyone recognises it. Like, is it linked to the brand? Is it linked to uh, Makeup Junkie 101 herself? Since yeah. we don't actually... We're not very familiar with her. No. Um, no one knows. No one knows. No, no one, one knows. knows. But major announcement coming the 3rd of April. So that yeah. will be in next week's episode. We'll update you. Indeed. Last thing. Last thing. We have a little bit of drama with Urban Decay and the uh, Basquiat collection. Basquiat. Basquiat. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. That's right. Don't crucify me. Um, so... Some people are upset that Ruby Rose is being used as the face of the collection mm -hmm. um, because Basquiat used... It, basically, he was all about um, the fact that black people were not uh, respected or they were under-recognised. Under-represented. Under-represented, there you go, in the art world. And yeah. for things where they should have been used as like models. Or, models. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Um, and people are saying, is it really that hard to use a black model or a black spokesperson to help promote the brand? And... It, this is hard because I feel like I don't really... It's not my place to talk about this because I don't understand the, um, I suppose, the struggle. I'll never be able to understand it. Like, yeah, but also you know, we're in Australia, so yeah, the people that struggle... Like, the struggles here are very different to different. the struggles in the yeah. US. So we don't really want to talk about this topic too much. I do want to point out that, yes, it's probably a missed opportunity yeah, from I Urban Decay. So However, we don't know what Ruby Rose's contract says. No, we it don't. It is likely that she has to be the face of every campaign for a certain amount of time. Yes. So she could potentially have sued them if they chose another model yep. over her when she's got a contract with them. Yes. So we don't know why they did what they did. No. We don't know if they were ignorant to what his art and what his point of view actually was. Yeah. Um, However, I have heard that there were some whispers that they were going to use a black model. they have mm -hmm. done a photo shoot for some imagery, but it hasn't come out yet. It's all, I don't know, okay. it's all kind of like... But it's not even it's, out yet, so yeah. I guess you have to also see maybe they're staggering things, maybe, maybe. they need things to be approved. Yeah. Um, people have also pointed out that we mentioned the other week that it was respectful that they didn't on first look name any of their products drug reference because yeah. they often call things like druggy yeah. or junky or whatever yeah. um and he died of a heroin overdose he did. so we said it was quite respectful that they didn't name anything drug related yet the collection releases on the 20th of april um and 420 is yes. a thing yeah I'm if you don't know what it, it is just it's Google a thing. It. it's yeah. yeah it's like it's a holiday 
I don't know how it... It's not even a holiday. It's not a holiday. I don't know how it became a thing. I think it was just like... I like to smoke weed and let's call 420 like a special day for us. Honestly, I only discovered what it was on the internet. Yeah. But is that also like how uh, May the 4th is like Star Wars Day and yes. May the 6th is Hanson Day? I'm upset because my birthday is May the 5th and I'm like, I want my birthday to be Hanson Day. Yeah, fair enough. But it's fair I'm enough. smack bang in between yeah. Star Wars Day and Hanson Day. Yeah, I think... Um, like this everything's is just, got a day. Where's, this where's is, Beauty News Day? I know, right? We need Beauty News Day. We need Beauty um, News Day. Yeah, it's. I can understand why people are upset. I do think it would have been great for Urban Decay to have a model of color, and I'm not giving up on hope that they will do that for this collection. You know, we've heard rumors about photo shoots yep. and um, stuff like that, so it could still come out. Yeah. Um, but I can respect that people might be disappointed. Yes. At this point. So, Correct. yeah. But I don't want to get into it because it's not our place. I don't understand it. I don't want to piss anyone off. We're, I think what it comes down to is that we might be able to read about it and, like, yeah. intellectually and, understand yeah. it. But we're also, like, we don't know enough about yeah. it. We're off in a different country with exactly different struggles. So exactly. it's not... It's, um, we're, yeah. We're a bit ignorant to the, the whole thing. Yeah. And I feel like I'd just look like a cunt if I... Which is why it. we're going to stop. So Yes. Awesome. We're done. We're done. That was a quick episode. It I'm was. so proud of us. It was. Well so done, proud of us. News. Go Beauty News. Mm-hmm. Go Beauty News. Go Good Thing. Um, and we will see you In... again on Wednesday. Yeah. The Makeup Breakup. Fabulous. And then potentially on Friday. We don't know. We haven't confirmed if we're going to have a special, special guest. guest. But it looks like we might have a special guest. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, Feel free guys. to guess. Feel free to guess. All right, guys. That's it. We're going. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.